Hey there, everybody. My name is Janair Trump, and I am a book editor during the day um, for a traditional publishing house. And I am also a writer by night and a mom to two kids. <laughs> and I say a menagerie of animals. Um, we have more than a few around here. Um, I have a debut novel coming out in March called Shadows in the Mind's Eye. I also have several kids' books out there, and just recently I released a novella collection called It's a Wonderful Christmas with a bunch of friends of mine, uh, Julie Cantrell, Lynn Gentry, Allison Pittman, and Kelly Stewart, and this is, was such a fun project to get put together. Uh, we call it our Holly Jolly Christmas collection. Uh, we just all needed a little bit of good things um, this past year. 2021 has been an interesting year for everybody. Um, so I am reading a little bit of my novella um, from this book. Uh, my novella is called Lovely Life. It takes place during the 1970s in a castle in northern Michigan, and it's patterned after a real-life castle, which is so much fun. So without further further ado, here is a little bit of lovely life. Street lights glowed amber through the windows of the brand new 1970s Mustang. Lionel had refused to put the top down, citing the fact that it was December and we were in Michigan. But Lord, I needed fresh air, and not just because of the cigarette dangling between his stubby fingers. How the man played guitar with those meat sticks, I had no idea. As we turned off what passed as a highway, lights flickered past less and less frequently. My breath fogged the windows, then dissipated, leaving my face ghosted over the ethereal glow of Waverly Castle in the distance. Familiar stone turrets spiked through a forest that stretched to Lake Michigan beyond. As the chart-topping lead singer of Westward, I had been to the White House and on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. I'd even shared a stage with the likes of Bob Dylan, the Mamas and the Papas, and even Janis Joplin before she died. I was a certified star. But this. I adjusted the small tiara pinned to my curls, and I wished I had chosen to be a bit less ostentation, uh, less Beatrice Harris, star of the stage, and more bookworm B, the barefoot local kid who'd once roamed these castle grounds with Robbie, the boy who would become the love of her life. Who knew that gawky girl would someday grow up and place an actual rhinestone crown on her head as if pretending to be a princess might fix her history here. No one told that girl that life isn't all it's cracked up to be. You look beautiful, Lionel patted my knee. A practice smile spread on my face, deflecting the comment and the gesture. I mean it, B. We can turn around right now. Robbie said he never wanted to see either of us again. <laughs> it's been four years, I said, modulating the frustration out of my voice. And he wrote and asked me to come and help rescue the castle. But he hasn't even apologized, I sighed. You know, Robbie, the fact that he wrote the letter telling me he needed help says he still sees me as a friend, someone trustworthy enough to reveal his soft underbelly. Lionel snorted. That's enough for you? You didn't have to come, I said in lieu of actually answering his question. There was no point in disagreeing with Lionel. Not that I could. I'd been arguing with myself about coming back to Michigan since booking the flights from New York. I was, in fact, a ninny. An undecided ninny. In the end, Robbie had offered a way for me to make amends for all that had gone wrong between the three of us his humble typewritten page pleading for me to use my fa fame to help save his home and livelihood from bankruptcy was of a white flag so out of character I couldn't ignore it. As my oldest friend, Lionel would just have to accept that, I hoped. We dipped into a valley and the dense tree line swallowed the castle. Maple tree trunks flickered past my window, centuries lining the rolling hills of the cemetery. A lit U.S. flag whipped in the breeze outside the little chapel, and a creek ran by the headstones leaping down the incline. Keep running, little stream. Too many souls gone from the world, too much grief to stop and bear witness. I turned away and counted the headlights bouncing along the grassy berm. At least Robbie had come home from Vietnam. How many had been lost before they'd made peace with their best friends? I may be a min ninny, but I wouldn't make that s mistake again. 
Thank you guys so much. I hope that you go get your very own copy of It's a Wonderful Christmas. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook on Kindle. It has been a pleasure hanging out with you. Thank you so much. I look forward to chatting with you more. Bye, y'all.